Yo. What up? All right. Uh, so, uh, we got another one from Mark Norman. Hmm. Okay. What we got? This is Mark Norman at Caroline's. Ah, uh, okay. Caroline's. Caroline. I think we've seen somebody else at Caroline's. I can't remember who, though. Okay. Sounds like a good comedy club. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I've seen this kid a couple times. He's terrific. You may have seen him on Last Comic Standing. Everybody, give a big round of applause for Mark Norman, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Kind of a smaller version of the last guy. A bit. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, a lot of attractive ladies here. Hello. How are you? <laughs> All right, good. Um, I like an attractive lady. Which is interesting, because when I was a kid, I hated girls. When I was like six years old, I thought girls were gross, thought they were dumb. And you know, you're allowed to hate girls as a kid, but that's really the only group a kid's allowed to hate. Because if I was a six-year-old that hated Puerto Ricans, <laughs> that would be weird. You know, if I was like, hey, Mom, I hate Puerto Ricans, she would never say, oh, you'll like them one day. <laughs> you'll like them a lot. Any Puerto Ricans here? All right, it's going to be a good show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love a good 40. They're good people. Uh, I live in the city. I had some friends visit me recently. Uh, real crazy guys like to get laid, get nasty, get, get sloppy. You know, the type of guys who do this a lot. Uh, does anyone else have that one friend where you go out to a bar to try to meet girls, and like 20 minutes into it, they just go, screw this, let's go to a strip club. I don't get that logic. You know, to me, that's like going fishing, not catching anything, and being like, screw this, let's go to the aquarium. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like, a, I'm not a big strip club guy. You know, strippers are just a big tease to me. Like, I look at strippers the same way I look at fire alarms. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, man, I really want to touch that. <laughs> but I know if I do, I'll have to leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I do like to hit the sauce pretty hard, uh, quite the booze hound. Uh, I was at a bar the other night, and there were a couple girls at the bar flirting with guys just for the free drinks. They weren't going to put out, they wanted those drinks, pretty good move. <laughs> Makes you wonder, you think there's ever been any smart kids out there who would flirt with pedophiles just for the candy? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, Timmy, don't talk to that guy, he's a child molester. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Gotta get these skills somehow. I'll tell you, those pedophiles are a creepy bunch. Creepy bunch of guys. Uh, creepy's a fun word, though, isn't it? Because it's a word that's changed with age. To a kid and to an adult, they be told different things. Like, to a kid, creepy's like spooky, like a cemetery is creepy. To an adult, creepy's like a guy on a bus who winks at you while eating a banana. <laughs> it's totally changed. <laughs> I'm actually the creepy guy at my office. I, uh, I work as a janitor during the day. Uh, I tell people I'm a maintenance man, but this mom thing. This mom <laughs> Hate my job. It's the worst job I've ever had. Everybody looks down at me. They talk down to me. The other day I was mopping the floor, and a businessman slipped. And he goes, come on, man. If the floor is wet, you got to put a sign down. I'm like, I'm mopping in front of you. <laughs> I am the sign. <laughs> no little guy on the sign doing this? That's me, but in 3D. <laughs> come on. My boss chewed me out after. He's like, come on, Mark. You're embarrassing me out there. I'm like, well, that makes two of us. I'm a janitor. <laughs> one perk, one perk of being a janitor is I work a lot of ex-cons, and they tell me stories of jail, and they are terrifying. <laughs> Horrific stories of prison. You know that whole drop the soap thing in prison? That is real. That's a real thing. Don't you think it's about time in prison showers we get some body washing? <laughs> Wouldn't that help a lot of people out? Like, well, I dropped a little. I'll just get another squirt. Back it up, back it up. I'm not bending over. That should be Body Wash's whole new ad campaign. 
Buy Old Spice. <coughs> It'll save your ass. <laughs> Somebody recently told me that uh, that joke was homophobic. And if uh, being scared of getting anally raped makes me homophobic, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, there's a gay guy at my work. Uh, I like the gays. We're good buddies. I have, I have good gay appeal, I've been told. Um, there's a gay guy in my work, and I, I'm all for gay marriage. I love gay marriage because it's the only big issue you can be honest about and still look like a good person. Let me explain. Like if somebody says, hey man, how do you feel about that earthquake in Haiti? I don't care. It doesn't affect me. What a dick. <laughs> but if somebody says, hey man, how do you feel about gays getting married? I don't care. Doesn't affect me. You got the right attitude. <laughs> Very progressive. I have a, a good friend that he, he's got to be gay. Like, I'm positive he's gay. I'm 100% positive he's gay, but he won't admit it. You know, I don't care that he's gay, but just tell me. We're friends. The most I can get out of him is he'll say, well, I experimented in college. And I'm like, yeah, but you went to college online. <laughs> you ever done college online? It's like 20 minutes a month, you know? So really, you are gay, and you experimented with college. <laughs> I think that's what really happened there. I love the gays. Uh, one of my friends just moved up here, and uh, he's kind of new. He's kind of behind the times. And every time he talks about a gay person, he says this. He goes, uh, yeah, you know my friend Jeff? He's gay. Good guy, though. <laughs> that every time. He's gay. Good guy, though. Which is weird, because gays aren't even known for being bad people, you know? Like, I can see if you're like, oh, you know my friend Jeff? He's a pedophile. Good guy, though. <laughs> you know, that yeah. makes sense, but that's not even a stereotype that gays are bad, you know? No one's ever like, hey, man, hide your wallet. There's gays around. <laughs> Religious people don't like the gays, that's a thing. Uh, I'm not religious, I'm not religious at all. Although I do find religion funny. Like, it's interesting to me that in the 50s, rock and roll was considered the devil's music. Now, there's Christian rock. But what the hell happened there? I guess Christians go by that old motto, if you can't beat them, ruin it. <laughs> I think my favorite religion has got to be Scientology. Any Scientologists here? All right, let's make fun of them. Uh, I love Scientology because it's the only religion out there that you can make fun of in public and everybody's on board. You know? Religion is such a touchy subject. You can never do that with any other group. You know, you can never be like, uh, uh, like if you're like, hey man, I hate the Muslims. Well, you're a racist. Well, I hate the Jews. Well, you're an anti-Semite. Well, I hate Scientologists. What are you doing later? <laughs> Any Jews here? All right, confident Jews, I like that. I don't know why you put your dukes up, that's weird. All right. Uh, you must be from Brooklyn. Uh, I love a good Jew. I love Jews. I like Jews because you guys have your own persona, your own personality, you know? So much so, you can actually use the word Jew as an adjective. You know, you'd be like, oh yeah, Jeff's got curly hair, very nervous. Kind of Jewy. <laughs> but you could never do that with any other religion, you know? You could never be like, oh yeah, Bob, he won't let his wife drive. Kind of muzzy. <laughs> Makes her cover her face. Big old muzz, that guy. <laughs> A buddy of mine's a real big sports fan. Uh, he was bummed out the other day because his uh, favorite baseball player is on steroids. And I was like, what do you care? And he goes, hey, how would you feel if your favorite porn star was on Viagra? And I was like, well, honestly, I think it's strange you think my favorite porn stars are men. That's a little weird. Uh, also, I don't care if porn stars are on Viagra. I don't care if they're on steroids. That's great, you know? I'm not watching porn for the ethics, you know? <laughs> I love, I love the internet. That's my religion, I feel like. If I, if I have a religion, it's the internet. I, I'm on it all day, I give it money, that's my religion. That's why I love my neighborhood, because everyone around me has Wi-Fi. Restaurants, coffee shops. I saw a dive bar with Wi-Fi the other day. 
The only place I've never seen with Wi-Fi is a church. And I think that makes sense. Because no church wants to compete with invisible power that actually works. <laughs> hey, all right. Got some atheists. That's fine. <clears throat> Race is a touchy subject, huh? Let's talk about that. Uh, I got in trouble at a comedy show recently uh, because I used a racial slur. But I didn't even know it was a slur. I had no idea. But in my defense, can we all agree that the gentlest of the racial slurs has got to be Chinaman? <laughs> I mean, come on. He's from China. He's a man. Not so bad. You know, to me, the names of Chinese restaurants actually sound a lot more like racial slurs. Let's try some. <laughs> you know who can't drive? Those frickin' panda kings. <laughs> they cannot drive at all. And listen to this, one of those golden doodles just went in my apartment building. Damn. Oh, yeah, moved in right next door. One bad. big happy family. <laughs> Alright, I can do that joke. I'm friends with an Asian now. Uh, friends with an Asian. Good guy, though. <laughs> Race is such a ridiculous thing to get mad about. You know, it's, a, it's such a touchy thing. Everybody gets so cringy about race. Like, uh, I think sometimes calling someone racist can, in fact, be more racist. I'll give you an example. I was at a restaurant recently. Guy came in to get a takeout order. They screwed up his order like five times. Eventually, the guy just snaps. And he goes, Jesus, what is this place run by monkeys? And the manager goes, excuse me, sir, that is racist. Uh, now it is. <laughs> I was at a party recently, and this guy comes up to me out of the blue, and he goes, hey, have you ever dated a Spanish girl? And I was like, uh, I don't think so. And he goes, you don't have any Spanish friends, do you? I was like, no, I don't. I don't have any white friends either. You want to rub it in? <laughs> like, why do we always jump right to racism? You know, it's always like, you don't have any black friends? You must hate black people. No, I'm just unpleasant to be around. <laughs> I kill for some black friends. I kill for some white friends. I'm very lonely. <laughs> Take it easy, Spanish man. Good lord. I am, uh, I am seeing a lady right now. Uh, it's not going too well. I don't know why that turned you on. Uh, you want to join? I don't know. Um, all right. Uh, wait for an answer there. I got nothing. Yeah, it's not going too well. Uh, got something from the girlfriend last night I haven't got in years. Got the old blue balls. <laughs> Nothing thought about that. Hate the blue balls. The worst part about it is like, what is that? What is blue balls? I don't get it. What is that? Can you explain it to me? What is that? And the only way I could explain it to her, the only way I could make her get it, was by saying, Hey, you rapper Susie. No, I can't say. <laughs> she was like, what, what, whatever, Susan? I was like, look, I can't. She's like, what, you can't just start it up and not finish? like, look, I can't. She's like, please, please, I'll do anything. I'm like, that's blue balls. <laughs> Sit right there, sister. One good thing about the relationship is me and my girlfriend are both terrible in bed, so we get along in that way. And I caught her reading a Cosmo recently. I look over her shoulder. It says, please your man in bed by giving him comfort. I was like, all right, it's going to be great. Next time we have sex, she's going to be complimenting me, which she did. But the compliments weren't sexy, so it was just awkward. <laughs> I'll give you an example. We're going at it. And I flip her over, and she goes, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> then I did something else. She goes, nicely done. <laughs> and I'll tell you, getting compliments in bed sounded good in theory. But you never want to be in a sexual situation with a woman and have her say, uh. not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> a little adult creepy. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Mark Hunter. Uh, that's good. Okay. All right, man. Damn, you can hear the, uh, <laughs> the glasses clinking and the, and, the, and the table. Damn. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a younger Mark Norman. Yeah. A few years ago. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Started off with the, you know, a lot more back-to-back -back jokes, you know. 
But, um, but yeah, that was funny.